Let's have our lecture video in Integral Calculus with the topic Wallis Formula. So here in this uh, formula, we have integral of sine x to the power of m, cosine x to the power of n dx, then the lower limit is 0, and the upper limit is pi over 2. So we will use this formula if our limits are 0 to pi over 2. So this is the answer. So the uh, powers of m and n, where m and n are non-negative numbers, so we have there m minus 1, m minus 3, m minus 5, until it reaches the number 2 or 1. Then, for the second exponent, we have there n minus 1, n minus 3, it should be n, n minus 5, until it becomes 2 or 1. Then, for the denominator, you just add the two exponents, m plus n, the next one, m plus n minus 2, then we have m plus n minus 4, m plus n minus 6, until the number becomes 2 or 1. And all of this multiplied to alpha. Now, alpha is equal to pi over 2 if both m and n are even. Alpha is equal to 1 if one number is odd and the other number is even. Or that both of the number is odd. So, these are the conditions for this formula. Let's evaluate the examples. For number 1, we have here the integral of sine y raised to the power of 2, cosine y raised to the power of 6 dy, lower limit 0, upper limit pi over 2. So we are evaluating it with the lower limit 0 and upper limit pi over 2. Therefore, this is Wallis for we can now use the Wallis formula. Now, from the Wallis formula, it says there, the numerator, since we have here two uh, exponents, so the numerator here, the first one, we have here the 2 minus 1. So it says there, until it reaches 2 or 1. So if we have here 2 minus 1, that's it, then it's already 1. So let's close that. Close. And let's proceed to the second exponent, 6. So we have here 6 minus 1. We can still proceed with 6 minus 3 because the answer here is 3. Then let's proceed to the 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1 and then we will now stop because the number is 1. And let's work with the denominator. For the denominator, it says there, it's just the addition of the exponents. Then the next one, we will subtract the even numbers. So we have here 2 plus 6, 2 plus 6 minus 2, 2 plus 6 minus 4. So what is 2 plus 6 minus 4? That is 4. Then we have 2 plus 6 minus 6. 2 plus 6 minus 6 is 2. So let's stop there already. Okay. Then multiplied with the alpha. So according to this, alpha is pi over 2 if both m and n are even. So in this example, both m and n are even. Therefore, we will multiply this with pi over 2. So we have here... 1, 5, 3, 1, divided by, this is 8, this is 6, 4, 2, multiplied with pi over 2. So this is equal to 5 over 128 times pi over 2, 
final answer is 0 0.0614. So this is the answer for number one. Next, let's have number two. Integral of sine x squared dx. Low, evaluating it with the lower limit 0 and upper limit pi over 2. Again, this is Wallis formula. Let's use Wallis formula, which is 2 minus 1, and we will stop there. Then 2 plus 0, or just 2, multiplied with pi over 2 because it is even. That is equal to pi over 4. So that's all for number 2. Next, number 3, we have there the integral of sine y raised to 7 dy with the lower limit 0, upper limit pi over 2. So this is 7 minus 1, 7 minus 3, 7 minus 5. We cannot have 7 minus 7 because it will become 0. So let's stop with 7 minus 5. Then for the denominator, let's have the 7. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 4. That is 3. 7 minus 5. That becomes uh, 7 minus 6. Sorry. It should be 2, 4, 6. So 7 minus 6. And that is 1. And we will stop there. Multiplied with alpha. Alpha here is 1 if the number is odd number. So this is 1. Because the exponent here is odd number. So that is equal to 6 times 4 times 2 over 7 times 5 times 3 times 1 multiplied with 1. The answer here is 16 over 35 or that is 0 0.4571. So that's for number 3. Last number, we have number 4. The integral of sine beta raised to 4, cosine beta raised to 3, d beta. Evaluating it to the lower limit 0 up to the upper limit pi over 2. Again, using the Wallis formula, we have there the first exponent, which is 4. We have there 4 minus 1, 4 minus 3, 4 minus 5. No, it's already negative. So we will stop with 4 minus 3. Next, the second exponent, which is 3, minus 1. And then we will stop there because the next one is 3 minus 3 becomes 0. Then let's go to the denominator. 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 minus 2. 4 plus 3 minus 4. 4 plus 3 minus 6. And that is 1 already. So let's stop there. Multiplied with alpha. According to this, alpha is equal to 1 if one number is odd and the other number is even. So we will multiply this with 1. It's equal to 3 times 1 times 2 over 7 times 5 times 3 times 1 multiplied with 1. So the answer for this is 2 over 35 or that is 0 0.0571. Okay? So that's it. That's Wallis formula. Now if uh, again you're allowed a calculator, let's uh, use your calculator here. Clear this one and let's type in. Now, if we're typing in trigonometric with power, let's use the parenthesis sine alpha x close parenthesis 
close it again raise to the power of two then uh, right arrow parenthesis cosine alpha x close parenthesis another closing parenthesis raised to the power of six right arrow right arrow then lower limit zero then we have upper limit pi over two so to have pi here shift pi over two if you press equal here notice that in your calculator you will have a value of 0 0.0039 which is not the same with our values value here this our value is 0 0.0614 the reason is we're in the degree mode of the calculator if you change the degree of your calculator uh, if, if you change the mode of your calculator into radian mode therefore will have the value 5 pi uh, 5 over 256 pi or that is 5 pi so this is this is actually 5 pi over 256 or point zero six one four, and this is correct so you just have to uh, to uh, put your calculator into radian mode because we're dealing with trigonometric here okay let's go to number two let's check if our answer is correct let's clear this one again integral sine open parenthesis sine alpha x close close raised to two arrow right arrow zero right arrow shift pi over 2 radian check always check if you're in radian mode then equals that is 0.7854 that or that is pi over 4 this is correct let's go to number 3 let's clear this out then click here the integral symbol then open parenthesis sine alpha x close close raised to seven right arrow right arrow zero right arrow shift pi over two radian mode equals 16 over 35 or 0 0.457 correct so let's go to number four the last one so integral sign parenthesis open parenthesis sign alpha x close close raised to four then arrow right open parenthesis cosine alpha x close close raised to the power of three arrow right arrow right zero arrow right right arrow shift pi over two equals two over 35 or that is 0 0.571 so it's correct again use this if you're allowed the calculator or if your calculator calculator has this uh, function and if you're not allowed the calculator, then at least you know how to manually solve the Wallis formula. So that's it for the...